These guys are hardcore reenactors. Throw me a clip! Ah! Oh, come on, he's up! Oh, Get down! Ah! Ah! Where are we? You and Prinstopia. Bitches! There are two wolves living inside of you. One is a cringy itch Lord 4chan Reddit user. The other is a furry. Whichever one wins is the one that you choose to feed. So before I get into this video, let me just put out this quick disclaimer. Everything that I'm about to tell you is kind of secondhand news that's reliant on hearsay and screenshots and a puzzling together amongst a multitude of lies and conspiracy theories. So that's going to be the fun part of the video is figuring out which part of this actually is true and which part of this is a sneaky narrative to get you to buy into an idea. That'll be fun. Just remember also not to send anybody mentioned in this video any kind of rude, disgusting, mean, hurtful, pitiful comments. Leave them in my comment section. I love the engagement. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with Reddit and that it has multiple forums, subreddits, in which communities can come together and post about whatever thing the topic is. And many people are in multiple subreddits, many people cross over, and it's usually a good time. That's at least the purpose. And just like any other website, Reddit has its terms of service, and if you fail to comply to those terms of service, then you get the ban hammer. Right? Of course. And if you then make a new account, that's called ban evasion, which is also totally against terms of service. So in other words, if you want a successful thriving subreddit, you need to carefully select trustworthy moderators and enough of them in order to effectively manage the cringe of the forum. So this is the exact opposite approach to what Cringetopia did. Well, okay. Briefly, Cringetopia is one of the largest subreddits with regards to the theme of posting cringe and mocking cringe and laughing about cringe. But unfortunately, they betrayed their own philosophy by becoming the cringe which they dare to mock. So how did one of the biggest subreddits on the entire website manage to implode and self-destruct in one fucking month? Here's the story. So basically, the narrative, the backdrop of this entire fiasco is that Reddit as a platform actually became so fucking popular that they now appeal to normies. Yes, that is deeply unfortunate and troubling, but the result of it is that they actually have to up their TOS and effectively apply it site-wide in order to be advertiser friendly and get revenue and again appeal to the normies, right? So obviously the ban hammer is a little bit stronger. So Reddit noticed that there were total fucking losers on this specific website and a lot of them were actually in charge of running this massive forum. So of course they had to step in. Thus the admins of Reddit started banning fucking everyone. Now, legend has it that this subreddit community started posting cringe beyond what any acceptable TOS would allow and thus invoked the anger of the furry beast. So furries were in revolt and started mass reporting the fuck out of people and their posts, thus causing the mighty woke admins of Reddit to permaban almost all of the mods associated with this forum, which gave us the cream of the cringe mod post. Current state of the subreddit. The admins will probably try to silence us and remove this post. Don't let them. Just wanted to let you guys know that Reddit has made a lot of administrative changes recently. We don't expect fit the wholesome 100 vision that Reddit corporate has adopted for the site in light of their upcoming IPO. They have been removing some of our best posts and banning some of our best users for frivolous reasons. Several of our moderators have been banned recently without warning for seemingly no reason at all, including the creator slash owner of the site. Up. Reddit is taking actions against us without any explanation at all, either before or after the fact. So it looks like they will probably just take the subreddit soon and give it to their favorite power jannies as a tradition. 
Mr. Positive didn't really care, but now the admins have banned his girlfriend for no reason whatsoever, and there's no way for her to even appeal. Just my opinion, but women shouldn't worry about being banned because Reddit doesn't like their boyfriends. It's not very wholesome 100 at all. It could happen to you. We would also like you to know that we now have a standalone platform with a shitload of exciting new features for all your cringe and cringe community needs. We've been talking about it for half a year now. Mainly we just want a space where we can have less serious, more fun environment, yes queen, with content and culture that is not being slowly homogenized with the rest of Reddit. We also think it would help to have a better place to host the more controversial content that we get here. We've been getting brigaded heavily by their subs. Some fairly tame posts have been getting 400 to 800 reports. And yes, I am serious. If we don't review each and every one of these, AEO Reddit's paid thought police takes action against the sub. Come join us at Cringetopia. It's shiny, it's new, and it's really exciting software. You'll like it or stay here if you want. <laughs> Long live Cringetopia. Okay, TLDR. Basically, Reddit decide to become woke and ban Mr. Positive and his girlfriend under the assumption that Mr. Positive was ban evading under his girlfriend account, yada yada. Suck to suck. And take a mental note that they also advertise a new website. Now, what could this fucking mean? It means that essentially Cringetopia will not live in its current glory heyday due to all these new woke policies and TOS. Therefore, it is in their own interest to create a new website that looks exactly and functions exactly the same way as Reddit in order for this community to migrate to it and be cringe over there. Take a note, take a note, this is very important and take a note how it gets advertised throughout this video. So at this moment in time, Cringetopia was in some deep shit. This means that there were not enough moderators as there were probably like only four left. Um, so that means that the site itself cannot be moderated, which means more people and more posts are infringing on the terms of service of Reddit, thus causing this entire subreddit to be in a large amount of shit. So quick. Think, what are we going to do about this? We need people to stop posting shit that bans TOS, either in comments or whatever. And then we also need more people to be able to moderate. Quick, what do you do? Do you stop comments? Do you add more moderators? How do you possibly address this fucking concern that the people might have? Hmm? Oh, okay, yeah. So, um, this subreddit, Cringetopia, decided to go fucking meta. And here's the battle plan. First, they rallied the cringe lords with some inspiring battle cries. Anyway, I'm sure most of you don't actually give a shit and I wouldn't blame you. But, as Martin Luther King once said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in the inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly, affects us all indirectly. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Oh, yeah, that's the cringe. Oh, oh dear God. Okay, so the plan is that the cringe lords are now going to fight the furries because it's the furries and the admins trying to ban the subreddit and make it unusable for its normie users. However, they told us what was going on. So, um, what the fuck was still going on? Two weeks later, we finally get a response. Announcement on the rogue mod Elm. Hi everyone, it seems I'm the only sane mod left. Everyone else has gotten in trouble or inactive. Elna hasn't been able to demod me or anything like that and I want to assure you that I'm looking at solutions to this issue. I've contacted the admins and I'm waiting for a response. To the users who are still here, I'm incredibly sorry about this. I assure you it'll be solved and things will go back to normal. Yes, meet our fall guy, the rogue mod Elna. Now, from what I can gather, Elna supposedly is the mod that is actually destroying the subreddit by more actively fighting against the furries and thereby banning mods and posts and causing chaos of an anti-furry nature. In other words, Elna woke up and chose violence against the furries and was making sure that everybody knew it and thus causing even greater shit for the cringe lords at hand. 
But it seemed like now all was addressed and the anti-furry subreddit is going to meet its end. Officially, this is now going to be a pro-furry subreddit. An announcement on the state of the subreddit. Hi, Cringtopians! It's been a pretty eventful 24 hours, hasn't it? You'll all be glad to know that after an intense roleplay battle, the furry mods have managed to defeat the Grand Cringe Lord Alnan in the heat of battle. My persona chopped this elf character head off clean with the giant seat. It was so cash. And now we have wrestled full control of the subreddit back from his evil clutches. You can all rest well knowing that there will be no longer hurt your delicate sensibilities anymore. Now that us furries have full say in how things are run here, you're going to see a lot of major changes. Primarily, this subreddit will now be permanently a pro furry space and any anti-furry sentiment would result in an instant permaban. The previous moderation team were all too happy to let rampant fur phobia fester unchecked and it's time that I put my talon down and put a stop to it. Comments have also been re-enabled with the caveat that they must all be in explicit support of furry rights. I hope we can quickly put the previous dramatic events behind us and usher in a new, fun and inclusive era of Furtopia. Cheers, Corvus the Hellraven. To the backdrop of this, we of course had the subrated Cringetopia now having a furry profile. Hilarious, well done, much W's. Anyway, so it turns out that not even the cringiest of LARPers could have predicted this moment in time. Yes, good sane people, after they got rid of the mod Elna, battle was indeed not won, as this round went to the furries, and they now, quote-unquote, owned the forum. So, how are they going to enforce this law of the land? Auto mod, duh. Okay. So that basically means that since they barely have any mods and no fucking volunteers for this shit, they have to utilize an automatic bot, which bans specific people or posts based on exactly what it is programmed or told to do. In this case... You guessed it, ban everything that is not blatantly pro-furry, that is not suckling on the teat of the furry god and also just redirect them to the new website where they can be hateful mean-spirited and have all the lols in one place just on the side so this backfired hard oh my god most normies casually on this forum literally do not go around posting that they love furries are in love with furries so a bunch of people just using tame as normie cringe post type of content got the bad hammer so this was not the w that our cringe lords envisioned and since peace was no longer an option there was only one thing to do from this point onwards and at the end of april we were met with this post Ooh, this one's from the head mod so you know it's fucking spicy as all hell the furries have been overthrown time to bring the sub back to where it belongs I have managed to return to Reddit and get the furry mods to step down from their power trip. We shall now return to this sub to the state it should be in, i.e. all comments must include I hate furries or be banned removed for 60 days. Post titles must include furry suck, down with furries, there shall be no furry support here, a la demands it, inshallah my friends, these requirements shall relax on the 1st of May. Now at this point, you might think, what is even the point? What does war even mean? How have I ended up in 2022 and there's yet another war? And how come it's so fucking stupid? Well, I am happy to inform you that it got even dumber. Cause you see, since the previous bot was informed that it had to ban people not saying that they love furries, and this new automatic bot was now banning people who say that they did not despise furries. These two bots had an epic duel that was probably the coolest one in this entire fucking war. But hey, it gets better. Look at how bad their automod scripting even got. We actually saw a Turing test happen live in person in front of us. It got so broken that it's created what is probably one of the longest common chain of both a bot and another bot constantly going at each other. 
So this bot would tell you to go onto the cringetopia.org and the magic eye bot would say, I'm not, I don't know what the command is. Try help to see the commands I support. And then it would just start an infinite feedback loop. I swear to God, it's two bots on a fucking website doing a Turing test amongst each other. It is hilarious, dude. There is nothing stopping you all from posting cringe, brothers and sisters. I checked the logs and it was never prevented. Apparently the bot is broken at the moment. To make a post, you have to put both the new and the old titles in. Until somebody with more technical knowledge fixes it, use this workaround. I know this story seems quite convoluted as fuck because who's really responsible here, right? And the one hand you have the wholesome admin takeover from Reddit where they just want things to be PC and following the terms of service in combination with the furries of course on that side and on the other hand you had this rogue mod Elna who was now actually banned right so how could this person still be the main reason why there is currently infighting on the forum what is going on here well i'm happy to tell you there's a third fucking option Okay, look, if you want a serious answer, we're trying to figure it out and there's a way to allow posting with a limited number of mods left without this being sub, it being immediately banned. Uh, if you want an example of how the sub acts without moderation, just look at the past few days, site-wide violations galore and there's nothing preventing people posting this normal minus comments because there's not enough mods left. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna read all this shit. Um, uh, Elna was never responsible for anything. All of this was an absolute lie. And Mr. P started off posting all the cringe himself. And so, so basically they they um, they did it. And uh, the mod team did not expect the user base to react to obvious satire in such a way. Um, and they didn't expect all these baseless rumors from trolls. And um, that it should be taken as gospel. <laughs> Lol. So after the post we just saw, they turned off commenting because they clearly recognize that they have absolutely zero skills to manage this forum and they are understaffed and overbotted and they just have too much cringe, too little time. So what they did is they turned off commenting and posted this fucking dribble of a response. So the TLDR is that we all got got, yes. They in fact epically owned us by playing a massive LARPing trick on a fucking all of us saying that they are not at war with the furries. Oh no, nothing as serious as that. This was all just good LARPing fun and they all expected us to just play along. But now that Mr. Positive has gotten banned and the Autobots are being a little bit wacky and it's requiring a little bit more attention to detail, now they're telling us it might seem like they overplayed their cringe and therefore they are afraid that the separated might actually have to close down. So PS, go check out the new website just in case. It's always good to have a backup. Wink, wink. Okay, so here is the third option. The third nuclear take. The unhappy ending. What if all this time the entire thing was orchestrated by the main moderators in order to exercise ban evasion effectively to a new website? So what do I mean by that? What if this entire ban spree, this entire fuck up with the Autobots, this entire mess with the furries was never anything to do with furries or the admins of Reddit? What if the entire time the moderators really, really, really wanted to be active again, uh, you know, allowed on the site again, and they wanted their community to thrive, and therefore they decided to self-destruct this subreddit in order to promote their website so that the flock would just naturally carry over there and they can live in cringe together, happy, and successfully have ban evaded their own termination. So that is another conspiracy. I have no idea if that's true. But what I can currently say is that the reason why the story is so difficult to piece together and show to you is because so right in the beginning of May, a week ago, they effectively privated the entire forum. That's right. Nobody can come in. Nobody can read what they have to say. So if you truly want the cringe, then you are effectively forced to join their website. Hmm. So our three options here, and I want you to debate it in the comments because we don't know anything. Is it Elna, the rogue mod that has caused the self-destruction of this entire subreddit by having too much power and too much furry hatred? Or is it the furries and the woke admins? Or option number three. Is this the most chaotic 
evil way in order to get an effective ban evasion and start a successful new website by copying and pasting their entire community and website design, which, fun fact, is also against Reddit Terms of Service. I don't know if the subreddit will be truly shut down. I have to believe that since they were promoting a new competitor website to the subreddit that would probably be taken down as their fears were one of the reddit tos's actually state in your use of the services except and solely to the extent such a restriction is impermissible under applicable law you may not without our written agreement license sell transfer assign distribute host or otherwise commercially exploit the services or content modify prepare derivative works of disassemble decompile or reverse engineer any part of the service or content or access the services or content in order to build a similar or competitive website product or service except as permitted by the reddit api terms of use so Whew, yeah look i'm just gonna come out and say what's on everybody's mind the furries did nothing wrong and i'm just a thought with an opinion and i don't know shit about fuck pila I like to take part in this degenerate furry roleplay with pretty much anyone that would reciprocate the word cringe. That doesn't near do enough justice to how sad this all was. 